Let's do some crucial medical physics revision in A-level physics. Let's start off with the CAT scan. What is the principle of operation of the CAT scan? Well, first of all, we have an x-ray tube that rotates around the patient. And there's a detector directly behind it. There's a thin fan-shaped beam of x-rays is actually used. The x-rays are going to be absorbed differently by different tissues. For instance, if there's bone here, this will have a different absorption coefficient compared to soft tissue. Images of the cross-section of the patient are actually taken. The x-ray tube will then move along the patient, so in this case, it will be in and out of the board. Finally, computer software is used to create a 3D image. That creates an advantage over a standard x-ray image because this is a 3D image. However, on the other hand, x-rays can be potentially harmful for the patient and this consists of far more ionizing radiation compared to a single x-ray. It's also a lot more expensive. On to the gamma camera. So the gamma camera is used with medical tracers that have been either injected or consumed by the patient. It has the following components. First of all, the gamma rays that are emitted from the patient go through the collimator. Now these are just a bunch of long thin tubes of lead that absorb all gamma rays that strike them at an angle. In practice, after the collimator, we have a beam of parallel gamma rays. Then they strike the scintillator, which is a sodium iodide crystal, and each gamma ray that strikes it produces multiple visible light photons. After that, the visible light photons go into the photomultiplier tube, where the photons are converted into an electrical signal and Finally, all this data is used by a computer to create an image. What is a PET scan? In a PET scan, the patient is actually surrounded by a, an entire ring of gamma detectors. The patient would have consumed a medical tracer that emits a positron via beta plus decay. Now, as soon as the positron is emitted, it will annihilate with an electron within the body. This will produce two photons traveling in opposite directions. It has to produce two, it has to produce two photons because only then momentum will be conserved. You can actually track the delay time because they're moving at the speed of light and by timing the amount of time that it takes to strike the detector, you can figure out the exact location. Finally, a computer is once again used to create an image. How does ultrasound scanning work next? First of all, we use a piezoelectric crystal to create and send a pulse of ultrasound. They're reflected at the boundary of each tissue that we're actually imaging. The reflected intensity will depend on the acoustic impedance at the boundary. And you can use the time delay to determine the thickness of the boundary. In an ultrasound scan A, you would have a graph of essentially voltage against time. Bear in mind that the thickness of the tissue will be the distance traveled divided by two because the ultrasound pulse has to go there and then return backwards. Let's also briefly remind ourselves on how to use ultrasound to determine the speed of blood in the arteries. We use an ultrasound transducer and we hold it quite close with some gel and it has to be held at an angle. An ultrasound pulse is reflected by the blood vessels in this artery across here. Now blood vessels which are traveling towards the detector will be reflected at higher frequencies and if they're traveling away from the transducer they'll be reflected at lower frequencies. We can actually can measure a change in frequency which will be proportional to the speed. This here, delta F, is the change, the apparent change in frequency, and F is the original frequency. Note that this equation um, will actually vanish because cos of 90 degrees is equal to zero if the transducer is held perpendicularly. Therefore, we have to hold it 
at an angle. Now, if you have not yet revised medical physics, it is absolutely crucial that you do so. And this will only take approximately 40 minutes with, with my revision video on medical physics, and you've already revised a good chunk of it. So go ahead and revise that now, right over here.